yeah, free speech is fine. I'm all for it. <laughs> Until you start offending people like children and the elderly, <laughs> right? Welcome to the Here's the Deal channel. Roll the intro. All right, this is one of those rare, and when I say rare, I mean rare videos where the cop actually does the right thing. He literally arrives on the scene in order to inform an offended individual that there's something called the First Amendment and that free speech is to be protected, not punished. Looks like the law enforcement agencies involved in this video are the Maryland State Police and the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office. The video upload comes from Mr. Porter's YouTube channel. And of course, Mr. Porter is out there flexing his rights. Because if you don't use them, you'll lose them. And as is the case with a lot of these situations, people end up getting offended when you do that. In case you're not familiar with Mr. Porter's work or his signs, here's a brief introduction narrated by Mr. Porter himself. Okay, guys, it's new sign day. Uh, you've been requesting a Biden sucks sign for a long time. So this is this is the best I could do. It's 16 foot long. Biden's head is the dickhead because uh, he's a dickhead. And then, uh, of course, Biden sucks. Um, this is going to be out tomorrow from 6 to 9 on the National Capitol Beltway, Mormon Temple S-curve. This is the Sheriff Jenkins re-elect fat bastard sign. See, that's Sheriff Jenkins there. See, it says he's fully circumcised recently. It says that he's really into leather and he's number one at buffets. He's down with ATM. And, uh, of course, the uh, rainbow dicks everywhere. And uh, it says that he's dead sexy. And that's, of course, Fat Bastard from the Austin Powers series of Austin Powers. And um, that is that one. So yeah, this will be out tomorrow. There'll be some videos. Probably nothing will happen because they're, they're used to the free speech in this area now. As you can see, what Mr. Porter does could be construed by some, all right, maybe many, as highly offensive. But if freedom of speech is anything, it's the freedom to offend. The freedom to say things and write things and display things that people may vehemently disagree with. Things that may anger people. But here's the important takeaway to this video before I show you this rare police interaction. The moment you or anybody demands that people like Mr. Porter and his message be silenced is the moment that you demand forced silence onto yourself. And that's what censorship is. Forced silence. Silence without the consent of the person speaking. And if we've learned anything from history, it's that those who burn books today will be burning bodies tomorrow. The censorship you call for on others will always, and I mean always, boomerang back to you and seal your mouth shut and jeopardize your life. So let's take a look at Mr. Porter's video. You can't, you're not gonna do this. I'm on a public sidewalk, which is a public right of way. Mm -hmm. You're in public. I, I could videotape in public, buddy. Go ahead, man. I don't, I'm, I'm asking them to come and remove you. For okay. The well, you I'm on profanity. a public right of way. There's well, kids going to school doing, here. You have profanity. You have elderly people, people coming in and eating yeah. in business. Okay. I mean, what, what, what's your reason for that? Is that the way that you're doing? I'm, I'm this is my you. sign. I'm with you. And I'm, I'm entitled to it. I'm with you. I'm on a public I'm right of way. 100%. But that you have profane language and you have kids right down here. I'm supposed to be going to grandparents. We're going to call this guy Darren because he's acting in the capacity of a male Karen. Did you hear what Darren just said to the cop? He's got to go. In other words, Darren wants Mr. Porter forcibly removed from this public sidewalk by a badged armed agent of the state. Why? Because Mr. Porter is harassing people? 
Is it because Mr. Porter is involved in criminal activity? No. Darren thinks Mr. Porter should be forcibly removed by an armed cop because Darren doesn't like Mr. Porter's sign. Now, listen closely to what this cop says. Everything on his sign is free to speak. Let's take a moment to not only appreciate what this cop just said, but possibly why he said it. Everything on his sign is freedom of speech, said the cop. Mr. Porter is no stranger to these parts. He spent a lot of his own personal time educating the public and public servants on the seriousness and importance of our freedom of speech in this country. So I can only assume that one of the only reasons this deputy just said what he said is because of the educational efforts of Mr. Porter. Guys, this right here is how you change the world. This moment, this deputy verbalized exactly how he views the rights and freedoms he took an oath to protect, uphold, and defend against all enemies, foreign and domestic. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, and this cop just spoke. He views the exercising of First Amendment rights, and I can only assume the exercise of other rights, as unfortunate. And that right there is a big part of what's wrong with this country. People like this actually despise individual freedoms. Sir, you can, it doesn't matter. I'm with you. Sir, I'm, what's that? No, I was just talking nice to him. Nothing you're going to say is going to change his mind, okay? You're spreading the, the, the message wrong, brother. That's your opinion. Have a great day. God bless America. Yeah. And that guy is still pissed off. Thinks he owns the sidewalk in front of this Italian restaurant. Cop actually did the right thing. That's uh, that's unusual. Maryland State Police. I've actually never had a bad thing to say about those guys. Till today. But it turns out he was just watching a keep the peace or something like that. He said he knew something would happen, but uh, I, I can handle myself. Thank you, officer.
Don't know his name. Don't care. Here's the deal. When one man flexes his rights anywhere, he emboldens other people to flex their rights everywhere. If you got something positive out of Mr. Porter's content, give him a visit and subscribe to his channel. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.